Hey guys, how are you doing? So today we are going to talk about this topic that I am really interested about, which is how you can improve your eyesight. So you can see that I have this eye spectacles, and I am someone who is always looking for personal development, for uh, making healthier choices in diet and uh, improving my eyesight and. Uh, doing better mental and physical exercises and stuff like that and so one day I was like doing my research and scrolling stuff and I jumped onto this website called endmyopia.org uh, which is run by Jake Steiner. So Jake Steiner uh, is the guy behind End Myopia and Jake Steiner claims um, to have reduced his number from minus 5 diopters to 0. So I have been telling my friends about it from a long time. Uh, I have been experimenting with it, uh, but now that I see some conclusive results, I would want more people to know about it because I think it's really helping you. So if you're someone like me, I would just want to jump onto the information and study about it. So you can always go to this website and myopia.org. I am not affiliated to Jake Steiner, uh, but then um, Jake is doing good work. But then uh, it might get overwhelming for you to read so much of uh, data and research and so see so much of videos. I'll, I'll break it down uh, for you into like small uh, chunks of information so that it's not overwhelming and you can apply it in simple steps. So let's talk about the basics. Let me take you through a prescription to build the basic understanding of how to read it and what it means in case you are not aware. And then we are going to talk about what is the first step that needs to be done. It's called differentials in Jake Steiner terminology. So here's a typical prescription and you'll see two major columns, header columns right eye and left eye and then you will see some subheader columns saying spherical cylinder axis for the right eye and spherical cylinder axis for the left eye. Now let's leave cylinder and axis untouched for now. We'll discuss them later in some video. Let's focus on the spherical part. Say I have minus 6 spherical, oh, by the way this is my new prescription, I just got it some days back, a month or two back, uh, earlier it was minus 7, so I have reduced uh, uh, one diopter over the last year. So let's talk about the spherical part. Now you would have noticed that when you are without your spectacles, they are these blur circles and uh, the blur circles are like when you look at a thing which is farther, the blur circle is larger for that thing. When you look at the thing which is nearer, say if I am looking at this pen at this distance, it is crystal clear to me and everything beside this is, it's like a DSLR to me where this is in focus and everything else is in not in focus. But then uh, the bigger the number, the bigger the blur circles that are formed. And these are distance specific. So say I can see something clearly at 30 centimeter distance, but then my vision for, six, for the same thing at 60 centimeter is a bit blurry. And um, say for me, the total blur where after which everything is equally blur, like it's totally blur is after 160 centimeters. In fact, if you can measure this with a centimeter tape, see measure the distance at which total blur occurs for you, you have your number right there. The distance at which you experience total blur, say mine is 160 centimeter. So if I do a meter by 160 centimeter, I have my number, it comes out to be six diopters. So now this is the spherical number and that's the starting point which we are going to play with, with something called differentials. So in the last one year, I have reduced my number by one diopter by using some of Jake's techniques, like 
using differentials, which I would just describe, and then using active focus at times. So active focus is like an automated exercise of the eye. I'll describe it more about in the later video. For now, I want you to understand why using differentials is so important and why we have been doing it wrong all along the way. Now, if you look at it, people generally start with a number, say minus one or minus two, and gradually it increases over time. Doctors basically are prescribing a single number that is for infinity vision. Now, though it's okay to see close up through it once in a while, but these are corrective numbers. So they help you eye to focus with some aid. Now, if your eye needs minus four at 60 centimeter, say my eye needs minus four at 60 centimeter, and I give it minus six, it will adjust and focus from that number. But then if I keep looking at it, say we do a lot of close-up work, we do a lot of computers these days. And if I keep on focusing on my laptop from that minus six, my eyes will adjust to that number gradually. And again, my infinity vision number would increase. Basically, my eyes adjusted to focus at this distance on minus six. And now my eyes, because I'm doing too much of close-up work, my eyes gets locked. And it has difficulty to relax back. And then when I see at far off things, say a car or a street sign, and I see it blur. And I feel that my number has increased. I go to the doctor, the optometrist. He checks my eyes, gives me a higher number. I again use the same single number for infinity vision plus close up work. And again, after a while, when my eyes adjust to that number for doing the close up work, I feel blur in the infinity vision. So ideally what we are doing here is first locking your number in the first place by using appropriate required number for close of work. We have a technique for that. Jake has created a technique which I will describe to you in the next videos. These are called differentials in Jake's terminology. So we use two numbers. We use one for infinity vision and we use two for close of work because these are the two things which we are going to do the most. So say uh, if my number is minus six for infinity and I can get a close up differential for minus four or minus 4.5. Now if I keep using these two different numbers as per required, say minus 4.5 for the closure work. So now when I have this differential and I'm using a different number for my close up work reduced number and I'm using a different number, the maximum number I need for my infinity vision, this increment in my number every year would stop. So first we got to understand this and apply this. And next is a technique called active focus described by Jake and uh, it's like we are just reversing this process. So what we have done to arise in the last four, five, 10 years, we have increased the number by using the same number and by forcing our eyes to focus through this number on the close up things. Now we will be forcing our eyes back again to focus on the close up and the infinity things by reduced numbers. I'll tell you how active focus works in the next video, but this is for now and probably you will be able to apply this in your life. Thank you.